president's new goal, administering at least one dose to 70 percent of adults by the 4th of July, and the effort ramping up to vaccinate children 12 to 15 as soon as the FDA gives the green light. But with vaccinations plummeting, major changes to pay and why right now may be the perfect time to sell your car. And the mid-air emergency on a flight to Hawaii, a woman on board suddenly goes into labor and a very lucky coincidence. This is NBC Nightly News. Decision could come within days. Let's begin tonight with Miguel Almaguer. The summer goal set today by the president promises a faster return to life as we knew it before the pandemic. By the 4th of July, the president wants shoppers will get a discount if they get vaccinated. Shots are even being given at professional soccer and baseball games. I got my COVID vaccine. Johnson & Johnson. The promise of a new tomorrow comes as additional. Quarantining efforts that we have to do when there is a case a lot more simple because those who are vaccinated aren't going to have to leave the classroom. Pfizer's trial in adolescent children showed the vaccine was 100% effective in stopping symptomatic possible long-term side effects. When we see vaccine side effects, they either happen immediately or in the few weeks after vaccine not months or years later. While COVID poses low risk to children, they still can train. Oscar, New York, thanks. And you can make a plan for when and where to get vaccinated. Visit planyourvaccine.com for more. We want to turn now to that train disaster in Mexico City where the search for survivors is on. At least 24 people were killed, as many as 60. In train home from work every night. Al parecer venía en el... En el metro que se cayó aquí en she says he was on the train that fell and has been calling area hospitals but still can't get an answer pues espero que and doesn't know wide perimeter around we've learned this is one of the newest lines in the entire system officials say it's checked daily but as of right now no prior issues have been reported Lester. Morgan Chesky in Mexico City for us. Thank you. And just in this evening, former Minneapolis police. As tech company censorship of conservatives. And tonight, Mr. Trump, who's also banned from Twitter, launched a website to post messages to supporters. It comes amid a growing Republican divide. Third ranking House Republican Liz Cheney has been sharply critical of Mr. As this country moves toward the withdrawal of U.S. troops from Afghanistan by September 11th, Many Afghans tonight are fearful the Taliban will sweep back in and turn back the clock, or worse. Richard Engel is inside Afghanistan for us. There are at least another dozen people. Despite millions of people out of work, 42 percent of small business owners, like Scott Cronick, say they can't fill open positions. The reason, uh, I think, frankly, is because there's a, a lot of stimulus money out there. With added unemployment benefits, many... In rooms and serve guests. That's what we're doing. The Golden Nugget Casino wants to hire 150 people, dealers, waiters, housekeepers. Could you afford to pay them more? We could, but as we pay them more, the cost of goods goes up. and That's a safe way to do it. If you're buying, be ready to seal the deal. Finding a used car has been, honestly, like finding a needle in the haystack. It's just hard to find something available uh, that I can go test drive and that's not already sold by the time I get to the lot. It was supposed to be a vacation in paradise, but somewhere over the Pacific. This guy just came out of nowhere. It turned into one heck of a birthday. Lavi Munga didn't know she was pregnant. We made baby warmers out of bottles that were microwaved. We used an Apple Watch to measure the heart rate. Nice round of applause for Bobby on the ground, mom and baby were taken to a local hospital where they recently reunited. The rest of his life, like toilet paper stuck to his shoe, a federal judge in Washington, D.C. found last year detailed instances of alleged criminal obstruction of justice by President Trump laid out in the Mueller report. Bill Barr, consulting with Justice Department attor attorneys, had determined that despite all of that, nothing Trump did was really a crime. Cinematic terms. Listen to this. This is from the very, very top, the very start of Judge Jackson's ruling today. Quote, on Friday, March 22nd, 2019, special counsel Robert Mueller delivered his report of the investigation into Russian interference in the 20th. Then engaged in making a decision about whether President Trump should be charged with obstruction of justice. The fact that he would not be prosecuted was a given. 
She says, quote, there was no decision actually being made as to whether the then president chronology of when the decision was made and when they produced the document that purportedly was the advice that led Barr to make that decision, which was back asswards in terms of its chronology. And she's now ordering the Justice Department. And I would have never done that. I grew up poor. I'm horrified at losing money. But if I had done it, I would have a quarter of a billion dollars today. Oh, none, none of my, my enemies, enemies would be safe, safe right, right now. now. I'm kidding. Anyway, money isn't real. Welcome back to the Philip DeFranco Show. It is rife with favoritism and bullying. With people like Matt Turner, who was an editor for Mr. Beast between 2018 and 2019, saying that Mr. Beast berated him almost every day and often called him, quote, a phrase used to insult people with mental disabilities, which would leave him in tears. The report also noting that initially, so did the people working for him. With Turner saying that while Jimmy's friends got to be in the videos, he struggled just to get acknowledged knowledge, saying, I was not to be credited for anything I did. I'd ask for credit, he'd credit someone else. The Times also talking to another person by the name of Nate Anderson, who said that he worked for Mr. Beast for a week back in 2018 before they're also saying that the decision for him to leave was mutual. If you if you have the opportunity to get this job that I had, um, totally take it. It's a lot of fun. Well, it's basically just like a friendship and going to work was a blast each and every day. With him then going on to say in the video that his actual primary clout chasing in the New York Times now. And that is essentially where we are with this story. And as far as is my opinion, just to be transparent, I have a Mr. Beast bias. I personally think that Mr. Beast is one of the most exciting people to watch in our space right now. I think he's pushing our industry further. Everything that I've seen makes you what are your thoughts on this? Was this just a hit piece fueled by, by clout chasers and kind of disgruntled former employees? Or is there a real concern here? What camp are you landing in here and why? But from that, I wanna take a second to thank the fantastic sponsor of today's show, Manscaped helps fit perfectly in your hand. And best of all, right now you can get 20% off your Manscaped order plus free shipping when you visit manscaped.com slash fill. And then let's talk about this news around 57 year old Dana McIntyre. So like a lot of small business owners impacted by the pandemic, Dana applied. Oh. But that hippie dream may be out of his reach because he was arrested yesterday and now charged with both wire fraud and money laundering. And I mean, if he's convicted for both, he could face up to 40 years in prison and $750,000 in fines. Though, uh, following charges as far as McIntyre's side of things, poses serious risks to children for abrasions, fractures, and death. In light of multiple reports of children becoming entrapped, pinned, and pulled under the rear roller of the product, CPSC urges consumers with children at home to stop using the product immediately. Right, so that happened, and initially Peloton said that they were shocked and technically the board's decisions are not binding, so Facebook could just ignore this. However, uh, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg has also pledged to abide by its rulings. And in fact, following this ruling, we saw Facebook's Vice President of Global Affairs and Communications saying that the platform will now, quote, determine an action that is clear and proportionate, from political leaders should be left largely untouched, but also at criticisms that Facebook's policies and lack of transparency have led to both confusion and calls of bias, which we saw once again from many top Republicans following this ruling, which uh, I will say largely and, and oftentimes feels like a cry that you're being a government, or maybe actually he kind of did, because he was like, I don't want people who oppose me in government. You get what I'm saying, he didn't get booed it off of Facebook because he was like, I'm for a strong border and lower taxes. We, we know what happened. Don't let him change the story on you because if you talk to half a cast with Troy Hunt or I got some more news, of course, right here. But with that said, of course, as always, my name's Philip DeFranco. You've just been filled in. I love your faces and I'll see you tomorrow. Buying that spousal support is not needed. Well, when we first met, she had other boyfriends and he described his close relationship with ex-girlfriend, venture capitalist Ann Winblad, saying when I was off on my own, they continued their friendship for years, taking annual beach vacations together with Melinda's approval. Good sure day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA. Yeah, anywhere near the peak of this deadly second wave, and does the national government have a strategy out of this catastrophe? That's one of the, those are one of the few issues we'll explore tonight. But first, let's take a look at how the country... It is not about being let down. It is, it is a collapse. Oh, I get. इन लोगों को सोचना चाहिए कि आप दिन रात डॉक्टर, स्टाफ, नर्स, बार बॉय, तो आप सिलेंडर लगा नहीं पाओगे क्योंकि तुम उनको नहीं पता. Please, सब लोग बाहर आ जाइए. Police को कॉपरेट कीजिए.
James Ocean. James, the past 24 hours has been the deadliest. Take us through the latest numbers. Well, certainly the numbers have been bouncing between around 360,000 to 400,000 new infections to the uh, central government that you need to hit these quotas. The Delhi government needs this much oxygen and you're not delivering it. And so now that high court, Kirish, as it's I called here, has basically threatened this sedition, uh, not sedition, as, as orders. We've now got an even higher court, a Supreme Court, intervening, saying, no, all this talk of legal action against the central government's not helping us anyway. However, it has put a deadline tomorrow for the central government uh, to um, finally infections. Both Karnataka and Kerala states have tallies of around 1.7 million cases. In Karnataka, there have been more than three times as many deaths, though. India's capital territory, Delhi, has also been badly hit, with 1.2 million cases of coronavirus. Edition of the world looking at the COVID catastrophe paying out in India. Journalist Bhagat Dutt has been on the front line reporting on the impact of COVID on everyday Indians. But last week, it became all too real. And deepest condolences. Your father's last words of you've reported were, I'm choking, please give me treatment. The system failed him at so many points along the way, did it not? Thank you for having me, Beverly. Well, the central government understands the crisis. The Supreme Court might order that oxygen needs to be supplied. But if there is no scale of scaling up this issue in organisation from within, will it ever be overcome? How do you see your way through this? The relief and social security front. Yeah. Did the government provide any financial support to this group of people, these women, these migrant workers that were forced to, as you say, go home back to, to, to the... Now, 31 million people I know in the context of India or China, it's a small number, but I was just told that about 149 countries in the world have less population than 31 million. So that's the kind of mass of people.